Hi, I'm Kenneth. This is Vis-a-Vis. -vis. Here you can see the solution. You have different types of facilities and different views. You have, for example, a three-day view and a three-month view. You could also have a view representing more years to see in a larger perspective. Let's dive into a three-month view for this example. To give you a really short introduction of the solution, on the left side, you have filter panels. On the middle, you have the different work centers being represented here. And on the right side, you actually have the timeline. In the timeline, you see different types of activities. Here you can see a footprint of your planning data. This is data coming in from multiple different source systems. And this is a consolidated view of all of those plans. On top, you can see maintenance plans. And in the bottom here, the blue ones, you can see long-term plans. For example, project plans or facility plans. On top of the filter panels, you see the area map. And this is a visual uh, representation of your facility. In this example, it's a platform. But this could be represented as a Google map, a metro map, or various different types of visualization. I click this area and you can see the timeline being changed. I only see activities taking place on this area. You can also see different information from the timeline. You for, can, for example, see different color types. The blue ones could, for example, be safety critical jobs. The green ones are planned jobs but not started. And the gray ones is completed work. Let me also show you an example of uh, using the discipline filters. So for example, I choose mechanical. And now you can see the timeline only showing activities related to mechanical. You can also dive into the data by clicking it and watch details of a work order by doing it like this. Here I now can see detailed information of this work order. Let's explore different scenarios where Vis-a-Vis -vis could play a key role. First, let's enter a morning meeting where Vis-a-Vis -vis is used to prepare execution of today's maintenance jobs. This meeting uses a three-day view of the work operations to be performed by each craft. Here we get an overview of jobs completed yesterday as well as what is planned for tomorrow. But the focus here is the jobs that are ongoing or scheduled to start today. There could also be urgent jobs here that were not in the original plan. Next on the agenda is the weather forecast. We look at the wind speed and compare it to the limit set for scaffold building and other wind sensitive operations. We then take a closer look at the area map that shows all work permits that will be active today. An icon here represents a safety hazard that has been permitted at this location. From an HSE perspective, it is critical to clearly communicate this to everyone. Tapping an icon brings up work permit details. The team can also easily see locations where there are degraded safety barriers. Together with permit info, this creates a shared awareness of the total hazards and risks that are present in the facility today. Let us move on to a very different user perspective and meet this scheduler who is responsible for assembling plans and scheduling jobs for next week and beyond. Scheduling practices vary a lot across industries and companies and it's not even uncommon that jobs are not pre-assigned to a particular date at all. But note that Vis-a-Vis -vis works with many different approaches to this. It's typically used as we see here in combination with the maintenance and planning systems to finalize an integrated schedule for execution. One of the unique things here is how easily I can align plans from different systems. Here for instance I bring up maintenance work orders alongside the related activities from the planning system. And when I start rescheduling, I can also change plans directly here in Visa V, and it routes the changes back to the source system. I can also approve changes that are proposed by others. 
The curve that pops up here is the total demand for the craft of this job. It recalculates on the fly as I move the job around and I see it against the capacity we have planned for this craft and uh, that helps me plan around any resource conflicts. Project activities can also be rescheduled in much the same way. I can even grab several maintenance jobs and project activities and reschedule them all at the same time, updating these two source systems in parallel. To avoid area conflicts for an activity, I just select it and tap its location here in the map. This reveals a couple of activities here that may clash because they are planned at the same location. When I bring up these detail views, I get all the information that I normally need. But if I want to, I can also click deep links that bring me directly into the maintenance system or other applications. There are lots of filters and combinations of them here that help me in the different stages of planning. I can x-ray the plan we're building to monitor that everybody's doing their part. It's also very nice to be able to easily share any view and filter setup that I use here with my colleagues, so they can take a look at them on their end with only one click. Vis-a-vis -vis is also meant to be used as a public display that should be strategically placed in your work environment. This allows a wide range of users to keep an eye on status, progress and plans. With very little effort, people can pick up information they need to prepare and coordinate their activities. Having a common reference like this also helps when interacting with others. Using Vis-a-vis -vis as a shared awareness display like this can even reduce the need for meetings and other formal ways of sharing info. This team must now deal with an unforeseen event that requires the plan to be modified on short notice. In this case, an external contractor has suddenly given notice that they are unable to provide resources for a job scheduled to start in just a few days. Visa V is a collaboration arena that really supports ad hoc meetings like this, where a small team gathers to quickly get an overview and take swift action. The team starts by locating the activities that needs to be rescheduled. And again, we see the Visa V rescheduling in action. But note that this time it is not used by the scheduler to create an upcoming plan. Vis-a-vis -vis here actually empowers the people responsible for execution to quickly modify their current plan in response to new information. And they can do this effectively and safely without involving specialists. Here the team explores different plan alternatives as scenarios. Sometimes the team may also need access to details not found in Vis-a-vis -vis itself. This is where the ability to deep link into third apps, like this 3D model, comes in really handy. After some exploration and discussion, the team agrees on which new plan scenario is the best solution, and the revised schedule is automatically written back into the source system. Here we are back in a routine meeting. This is a daily status review towards the end of the workday. The team will review the progress made during the day, noting any activities that are delayed or ahead of schedule. You can also update job status directly in Visa -vis in a meeting like this. The schedule ahead is now adjusted according to actual status. This could be moving an unstarted job to the next day or scheduling an earlier start where a new opportunity has been spotted. Using deep linking into the maintenance system makes it possible to do even more advanced changes to jobs there. Finally, the team will go through the work permits that have been proposed or approved for tomorrow. To summarize, this was a quick meeting to keep the schedule updated based on what has happened during the day and to support the next day's work preparation. As you saw, Vis-a-vis -vis gives your entire organization the same consolidated view. Vis-a-vis -vis helps your organization prepare and efficiently execute the planned work, even when plans change.